izquierda está. A ver, voy a mover la camioneta. Ahí está bien. Te calmamos aquí. Estamos para la foto y se le da el video. ¿O también? ¿Y este qué clase de pescado es? Es Marlin Azul. ¿eh? Marlin Azul. Guay, Marlin ¿cómo agarran a esto? Tres horas peleando con él. Tres horas peleando con él. Wow. Welcome to today's vlog, guys. We have a full vlog right here in Mazatlan, Sinaloa, the home of fishing and seafood. Have a look at this. I can even take you guys inside the mouth. All right, well, this is the spot over here, guys. They sell some seafood here, so we're gonna go and try it out. But first, I have to show you this fish one more time. Tres horas. Buenas, bienvenidos a la escollera mesa para dos. Sí, por favor. Perfectísimo. Permítanme les pongo gel. Okay, muchas gracias. Perfecto. Pásenme por aquí. All right. Sí, por favor. So this is where I'm bringing you guys. This is where they brought that big fish. Y amigo, una pregunta. Siempre hay pescados grandotes así saliendo de acá, como el marlin ese. Pues si tienen mucha suerte pueden pescar eso. Wow. So this is the menu, and I'm over here for this burger right here with octopus, the three island burger. Hola, bienvenidos a Escuyer, amigos. Welcome to Nescoyera. Would you like to order a drink? Yes, please. Uh, I'm gonna have the, the blue drink that you guys have. I saw it on Instagram. Laguna Azul. Por favor. Uh, what are you having? For me, a cocktail without alcohol. The conga. The conga, okay. And for me to eat, I'm, I'm here for the famous burger. The Tres Islas. The tres yes, Islas. So that one has the beef patty, shrimp, and octopus. All that, please. Yes. And I'll also have a choriata. Okay, which uh, one would you like? Pulpo ajillo. Pulpo ajillo, okay. Yes, please. And for me, I think the only vegetarian option is the pizza margarita, right? Yes. Lagoon Azul. The Blue Lagoon, all right. Anaconda. It's like the Mazatlan Blue Long Island. Yes. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, look how colorful is mine. Different layers. It's like a sunset. Yeah. I look like I'm from the 80s like that, no? Let's see how it tastes. Oh, I love it. It's pineapple, orange, and a grenadine. I love this mix. Pretty good. Mm. While I wait for my food to be cooked, guys, let me show you around. Check this out. We have this ferry coming in. Let me tell you a little bit about it. You see that area over there? With this big rock over there? Well, what if I told you that the people that live there and beyond, they're almost isolated there. Basically, if they want to drive to Mazatlan, you know, maybe they have a doctor's appointment, you go to the hospital, they need to, I don't know, go to the mall and get something. They have to drive three hours. So the locals, they don't do that. They catch these ferries. 30 pesos from over there to over here. And they just take the shortcut. And look like they play good music there. Esta es la propia from Mazatlan. Yes, that. All right, perfect, thank you. Salud. Salud. Oh wait, wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never on that side, guys. So I was like, all right, we'll do it again. Cheers from Mazatlan. Sinaloa's own home beer. Is this el pulpo, ahí, hermano? Sí. All right, guys, check it out. The octopus for the burger. And this is the la chorreada acá. Chorreada. Esos son los camarones para la hamburguesa. Mm -hmm. Surf and turf. Y la salsita esa que le ponen al pulpo, ¿de qué es? Es adobo de guajillo, chile ancho, ajo y cebolla. Esto es mantequilla. Uh -huh. right. Y esta chorrada aquí le ponen queso, asiento de cerdo. Asiento, queso chihuahua. Queso y chihuahua. chihuahua. El pulpo al ajillo.
guacamole, ¿eso qué es? Cebolla caramelizada. Y aderezo de cilantro. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a feast on our hands over here, guys. I'm excited because, well, burgers are one of the best things on the planet, guys. And this right here is a burger unlike no other that I personally had because there's octopus on there and little pieces of shrimp as well and the beef patty. So we're gonna go for it. Now, in case you don't know, guys, Mazatlan, Sinaloa is a seafood hub. The people from here are known as patas saladas, salty foot, because they're surrounded by the ocean here. So they love their seafood here, and well, they created this burger here. Oh, <laughs> look at a little tentacle just sticking out over here. Just, hello, Vope, come and eat me. And that's gonna be the bite that I'm gonna go into. You see right there? That guacamole there they put on the top? That's the bite we're gonna go for right now. That is tasty. The first thing I felt was the guacamole. I tasted the beef and just a little bit of that salty taste that the octopus brought in. I think I need a bigger piece and actually this one right here is sticking out. Looks like the bigger was the one calling me. So let's bite that piece because I want to try the octopus on this burger more than anything. Man, that is good. It is good. Now, the octopus doesn't, it doesn't bring a very strong present to the burger. It, you don't taste him that much, pretty much. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You pretty much just taste the saltiness there. And then there's just a lot of other things going on in this burger. You got the caramelized onions bringing in some sweetness. You have the sauces that they added, bringing that in. The, the bed of lettuce that they put at the bottom and let's not forget the beef patty the beef brings its taste so the octopus is kind of shy there you don't really get to taste him that much but he is there he brings that seafood to it that saltiness there gonna have a couple more bites of this bad boy and I'll check back in for my final opinion here's the tentacle of the octopus Mm. The seasoning is extremely delicious. All right, now I'm getting that, you know, that squishy, gummy bear-like feeling of octopus. The thing is that inside of the burger, with everything going on in there, he kind of hides a little bit. Don't blame me too much. It was the only vegetarian option on the menu, so I took this margarita and it's way better than what I thought it would be, honestly. It smells really good and it's real mozzarella because sometimes and not often I think in pizzerias I would put like mixed cheese and not really just mozzarella and that smells really good. I'm gonna see if it's the taste is as good but it's really like a thin crust, thin crust. Oh, I'm trying to cut it at the same time. And but it smells really delicious with this oregano on the top. No, it smells real. Let's see. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Mm, I don't know. Mm. That's that really tastes like some good Italian pizza, honestly. If you like the thin crust, I like both. But no, the cheese is like so good. 
not a mixed cheese of all the stuff that you're not sure what are you having in your pizza like this is a real pizza i'm very surprised for this price like so cheap and so good mm. i'll go dive in i must say guys um when mm. sophie says a pizza is good i, I believe her 100 percent because throughout our time traveling like the last three or four years she hunts down pizzas wherever we go and half more than half the time she's disappointed but when she's not disappointed she looks like this happy i think <laughs> <laughs> next up guys we're gonna try the chorado over here now this is my first seafood chorado if you go around Mazatlan, you're gonna have chorreadas all over the place and they're mainly gonna be with carne asada the majority of the time however when you go to certain restaurants you're gonna find this kind of chorreada either with shrimps or this is the first with octopus it looks like they're all about their octopus here so pretty much think of this as this kind of piece of a gordita or a really thick taco you can think of it as pretty much a big tortilla a really thick one and they heat this thing up on the grill until it's nice and crispy the way it is they add chihuahua cheese on here they have added a very nice portion of guacamole there on top as well as a sauce on here it looks like a cilantro sauce this brown part right here is going to be the asiento it comes from the pork and it gives a very good taste to this. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> Never had one with cilantro and this giant bowl of guacamole there or octopus. So we're gonna go in for a taste right now. We're gonna bite this part right here, guys. This part right there with the, a big part of the asiento. Mm. Oh man. That is good. That is surprisingly good. However, I want an even better bite. I want to get a lot of the cilantro there because I tasted that sauce there a lot and it goes really, really good with the octopus. Mm. Oh man, that is the bite right there, guys. No discovery. Choriatas with octopus. Major thumbs up. So it comes with this sauce here on the side. We're gonna put some right here on the juicy bite here with all that guacamole. And we're going in for that bite right now. Mmm. A little bit of a hot kick there. Now it's just about almost perfect. That's what was missing, a little bit of hotness there. Okay. Thank you so much for visiting us. No, thank you so much. Eh, muchísimas gracias por la comida, todo muy delicioso. Muchas gracias, que tenga una buenas noches. Hasta luego. Bye bye guys, hasta luego. Alrighty guys, that's La Escolleta over here in Mazatlan, Sinaloa. And I'm gonna tell you why right now. It's a, it's a pretty, hot spot let me show you um over here is the highest 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 i lost the word what, what do they call those things in the water lighthouse. for the lighthouse <laughs> i lost the word the lighthouse <laughs> over there is the highest lighthouse in all of mexico there uh it's currently closed off they're renovating some part of it or something like that but yeah if you're gonna go over there you know you can just check out this spot over here and have yourself a bite to eat you can say hi to her hola <laughs> and you can have a delicious octopus burger guys that, that burger was delicious you know it's not every day you find a burger with some octopus tentacles there cooked in a delicious way with people that know what they're doing with seafood so that's what makes that hit and the chorrera is also good and as well let's let her speak I mean the pizza like you know I'm a specialist about that and when they're good I know that they're really good so pizza you can go for it here it was just really fresh ingredients like quality of the dough everything is just perfect for a good snack for Sophie or a vegetarian or whatever <laughs> and if you also want to go to Stone Island and 
check out the other side of Mazatlan. This is kind of your takeoff point. So, yeah, and I, you know what? I'm gonna walk over there and show you the view there because it's really nice and then we'll end the vlog. Escollera right over there. And then right here, guys, what I wanted to show you. The beauty of nature at its finest. Beautiful little stone islands all over there. This right here looks extremely beautiful. It, it kind of reminds me of the of south of France or Italy yeah. as well, you know, like these that little kind of mini mountains there it's and true. stuff. Like south of France or Italy, they have kind of like the same uh, coast on the Mediterranean coast. Yeah, it looks kind of like that. Yeah, no, really beautiful, guys. This is Mazatlan Sinaloa, guys. Mazatlan. All right, I don't have anything else to say, guys. I don't want to extend the video any longer than it needs to. Those are my final words. If you want to check out the restaurant, I'll leave everything linked down in the description as always. Any final words? No. <laughs> I was like Honesty. looking for something like super big, but nothing comes out. So no, I'm just I'm just good right now. All right. That's it guys. Catch you on the next one. Enjoy the view.